tornadoes, whirling vortices of unimaginable power. They carve paths of destruction across the landscape, leaving awe and terror in their wake. Born from the volatile marriage of warm, moist air and cool, dry air, these atmospheric monsters are a testament to nature's raw and untamed energy. Their power lies in their unpredictability, their ability to transform from a seemingly innocuous funnel cloud into a roaring engine of destruction in the blink of an eye. Scientists study them, chase them, attempt to unravel their mysteries. But the true nature of a tornado, the experience of being caught within its grasp, remains a terrifying enigma. Those who have witnessed their fury from a safe distance speak of their awesome power, their deafening roar, the sheer terror they inspire. But for those unfortunate souls who have found themselves in the direct path of a tornado, the experience is beyond description, a maelstrom of sound, wind, and debris that defies comprehension. At the heart of every tornado lies a region of unimaginable violence known simply as the death zone. This area, often located near the base of the tornado's funnel, is where the storm's fury is at its most intense. Wind speeds reach their peak, debris is whipped around at incredible velocities, and the very air itself seems to crackle with energy. To venture into the death zone is to enter a realm where the normal laws of physics seem to be suspended. The air pressure drops dramatically, creating a strange sensation of suction, as if the very air is being sucked away. The wind howls with a deafening roar, a cacophony of sound that drowns out all other noise, and the debris, caught in the tornado's relentless grip, becomes deadly projectiles capable of inflicting catastrophic damage. Imagine, if you will, the sensation of being inside a tornado. The air around you is alive, a roaring, swirling mass of dust and debris. The wind screams past your ears, a deafening roar that drowns out all other sounds. You are spun around, buffeted by forces you cannot comprehend. The pressure drops, creating a strange fullness in your ears, a feeling of being squeezed from all sides. The air itself seems thin, difficult to breathe, as if the tornado is consuming the very oxygen around you. The temperature plummets, a sudden, shocking chill that cuts through your clothes. Section 4. The Science of Annihilation What causes these extreme conditions within a tornado? The answer lies in the laws of physics. As the tornado's funnel narrows, the wind speed increases dramatically, just like water flowing through a narrowing pipe. This increase in wind speed is accompanied by a decrease in air pressure, creating the suction effect that is often described by survivors. The low air pressure also causes the air temperature to drop, sometimes to freezing levels. This sudden drop in temperature, combined with the lack of oxygen and the presence of flying debris, creates a deadly environment that is impossible to survive unprotected. Section 5. Relating the Unreal To understand the sheer power of a tornado, imagine a freight train traveling at hundreds of miles per hour. Now imagine that train spinning like a top, its wheels tearing up the ground, its cars flinging debris in all directions. That is the kind of destructive force we are talking about. The wind speed inside a tornado can reach upwards of 300 miles per hour, more than enough to rip buildings from their foundations, toss cars like toys, and turn everyday objects into deadly projectiles. Section 6. A Moment in Hell To be inside a tornado is to experience the awesome, terrifying power of nature firsthand. It is to be caught in a maelstrom of wind, debris, and sound, where survival is a matter of pure luck. The death zone, with its extreme conditions and unimaginable violence, is a testament to the destructive potential of these atmospheric monsters. Though scientists continue to study tornadoes, their true nature remains a mystery. Have you ever witnessed a tornado up close? Or do you have a storm-chasing story to share? Let us know what fascinates you most about these incredible natural events.